This has revealed a serious political polarization, both in Europe and worldwide. And this polarization has an objective base. The base is social inequalities. The slogan, we are the 90-90%, still sheds some light on what is going on. The slogan, we are the 99%, still challenges the main political discourse that dominated during the crisis, a discourse that wanted the workers to live beyond their means, so they had to learn to live with less. And this does not only concern wages, they had to learn with live, to live with less, with fewer rights, with fewer dreams, with less dignity. Greece may no longer dominate the headlines as in the past, but currently in Greece an important battle is taking place. And this battle concerns the restoration of basic labor rights in the country. It is a battle that is taking place within the negotiations with our creditors for the conclusion of the second review of the Greek program of financial stability. Syriza government assigns high importance to the restoration of collective bargaining in the country. Collective bargaining is not only an issue of uh, long-standing legal tradition, but it's mainly related to the model of growth we want to have. Um, what we are seeing is that through collective bargaining, Workers have the right to negotiate for their wages and in this way to participate in the production of growth today, to define a growth to include the redistribution of wealth. So the question following is, will the working population going to participate and benefit from growth? Will workers start seeing themselves in the project of the EU? Will, will they start seeing themselves and their future in the European project? And this is not just a question for Greece, it is a question for Europe as well. And there is another question related to this. Will Europe allow Greece to be in a state of exemption uh, with regard to labor rights, to be in a state of exemption from the so-called European social model? In my view, a Europe that is willing to impose a state of exemption from social achievements is a Europe that runs counter to its own existence. Who would such a Europe inspire? Who would, who would such a Europe serve? Who would such a Europe represent? If we want to keep right-wing populism at bay, we have to deal with its problems head on. Europe has to deal with its problems now, not postpone them for when it will be too late. The situation is critical, but it's not irreversible. We can send a strong message today a strong message that social achievements and democracy constitute a crucial pillar of the future we want to build in this Europe. And this message can be sent today if labor rights start functioning in a country like this today. Thank you very much.